There is a dark, dark, powerful spirit over Iran. Its name is Prince of Persia, mentioned in Daniel 10. Persia is the biblical name of today's Iran. And we see that powerful spirit hindered the prayer of Daniel for 21 days. It's so powerful that it took Archangel Michael to come to help. Archangel Michael himself is a warrior angel. So that powerful spirit, how do you defeat it? The same way that Daniel did, by prayer, by prayer. And I want to share the good news that it, that spirit is being defeated. And that's why we see so many Iranians, Persians are coming to Christ. Remember, whatever happens in the heavenlies, it affects what happens on earth. And what happens on earth, it affects the events in the heavenlies. And remember, Jesus has given us authority. He said, if you bind something on earth, it will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loosen on earth, it will be loosened in heaven. So we have the authority. When we pray, we have the authority to bind the spirit of Islam, the spirit of the prince of Persia. Now, what is that spirit? That spirit is spirit of anger, hatred, and spirit of fear, and spirit of deception. So let's continue to pray against that. Let's bind the spirit over Iran, especially the spirit of deception. Now that Iranians have rejected Islam, the enemy wants to deceive them in another way. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Iranians, for Persians, Lord. We bind the spirit of deception. We bind the prince of Persia, and we ask you to set the captives free. Thank you for what you're doing in Iran. Thank you for all the salvations, but we pray for more, that Iran not only be saved, but be an instrument of salvation for the whole Middle East and even the world. Thank you for the power you have put in the prayer, Lord. We are faithful to prayer, and you are faithful to answer our prayers. My beloved, let's continue to pray, because it works.